My first poem is called Noguchi. I am going up the spiral stairs without a railing. My lips are near your face in this museum of stone. You were waiting for me to see myself like you do. You appear jagged but feel smooth. What is the difference between both eyes? One has a different view. Can they work together? This one is called Totem by my mom, Patty Harmon. Totem. The sea in a storm without rain. This is me. Looking dark as the green gray fading into the sky. Seeking. Always moving, changing. The same, but for a moment. Contrasted by brown yellow particles of rare still sounds. Splashed with white with seaweed greens of clear sun blue, of shell pink pieces and muscle black. Water, air, warm then cold then warm. There is no top, no bottom. There is no beginning, no ending. The sea, the shore, a storm without rain. This is me as seen by me. called birth Birthday Vision. We sit at the clear glass kitchen table inside my childhood home in Alamogordo, Desert Eve Drive. I pour the strong hot liquid into two clay mugs, inhale the raspberry chocolate mixed with Folgers French Roast. Add a little cream to mine, she takes hers black. On April 1st, I turn 38. My only birthday wish, to share a cup of, co cup of coffee and conversation with my mom. I know how much a baby can be wanted because of my mother's tales. Every year, she loves to recount the days leading up to my birth. But since her death on July 26, 2012, we find new me ways to meet and share stories. I close my eyes. Tonight, we are in Alamogordo. In the 70s, doctors advised my mom against having a baby because she was a long-term diabetic with complications, including blindness. She didn't listen. My parents took a chance and it worked. We had to believe in the possibilities of success. I had to be positive, my mom says, holding my hand. I squeeze back, noticing the familiar stack of bangle bracelets and sterling silver on each wrist. I was in a ward for those of us who were considered special pregnancies. I was a nervous wreck, Jen. I had the tiny television and radio immediately next to my bed hoping to eliminate all negative thoughts. Right around that time, I began my serious addiction to the young and the restless. We both laughed because I grew up watching the drama between Nikki and Victor on y &R. I open a package of Lorna Dunes and place a few cookies on the plate in front of her. It turned chilly the two days preceding my birth. From the hospital bed in Albuquerque, she heard the roar and whistle of the notorious desert winds. Joanne came to Gerald Champion to do my hair. I was one good-looking pregnant lady. I'd eaten a hot dog with mustard and relish before admission. You were moving the most optimistic feeling of the pregnancy. I adored it. She tells me my father remained by her side during the entire labor, studying my heartbeat and hers on the test screen. The C-section was not difficult on my diabetic body. Doctors predicted you would weigh three pounds. That was perhaps the April Fool's joke. You were plump at more than five. Oh, how ecstatic I was to have my dream come true. A baby, a daughter. They had not predicted your relentless spirit either. In the tiny incubator, you kicked and yanked. You did not want to wear those little mittens to keep from pulling out the oxygen tubes. You did not cry because of those tubes. Oh, how I longed for the sound of you, and it came soon enough. I take a sip of coffee. Mom, I can't believe I've been married for almost a year now. Honey, you were a beautiful bride. I was with you in the dressing room when you picked out the Claire Pettibone gown. I ran my fingers over the vintage embroidery. I was with you at the Catterskill on that beautiful summer day. She tells me she knew Drummer Boy was the perfect match for me. It was over eight years ago that you introduced us at the TikTok Diner. I remember the conversation flowed easily with Chris. He became a good friend to me and I know he takes good care of you. Love is so valuable. I squeeze my mom tight because I don't want her to leave this kitchen. She can come to Astoria and crash on our red couch. We can watch In the Kitchen with David on QVC tomorrow. 
have a magnificent birthday dinner with Chris at Tao. I will see you somewhere else tomorrow. All of life is a chance, Jen, whether it is falling in love or delivering a child. Take pleasure in the romance and challenges life pre presents. Do not attempt to predict where it is all going. Accept the present. Thank you. Chris, your cheek melts into mine before sleep. Hand on hip, slides up to waist, fit faced forward. Breathe in your exhale. Hear my own heart race to your quiet whispers of comfort. Here's another favorite of mine by my mom, Fetish. The power is inside of me, deep, deep inside. Everyone has power unique to them. I want to discover mine, to never forget I have it, to fully use it in my life. I want to find the parts of me I've never met, the talents never seen before, the intelligence never used. Maybe I will write a song, play it, sing it. The romantic part of me will live in the evenings by oceans, rivers, lakes, on fishing trips, in Colorado mountains, on Christmas Eves and New Year's Eves in birthday candles and anniversary poems. It will live, not merely exist in daydreams. I will be what I can be, but what I am not yet. I will love more easily, forgive more readily, judge less freely, listen quietly and quietly hear my thoughts. On impulse, I will do and not wait to wish I'd done it. All things will not have thought before action. Unplanned, uncounted, unworried, unpacked, I will go. I will still cry and laugh embrace and hide with, without so often looking back to judge myself. My power will come from me, changing me, and so changing the world, because sometimes I believe the world is only me and my reactions. Now, if I can get my husband up here on guitar, I will do a few more songs for you. Okay. I thought it'd be fun to have some music with him. The stairs. The stairs. I climb them because I have to. Fast, slow, click clock, click clock. Sandaled feet bouncing down or up. Morning, it's off to work, back in the evening, and on the weekends in pointy toed shoes. Once at Whitehall, the escalator waits for me and I can float. It takes me up, up, up. There are a few more stairs before the street, calves aching from the short, steep burn. Row after row of black concrete steps. How many feet have climbed them? Feet stomping before me, above me, beside me, under me, our steps one single cadence. Sometimes, especially on a Friday or Saturday, I say to myself, here I come, New York, out on the town with a group of friends and the stairs are nothing. I do not think about the work it takes to climb them. Flying down is always a breeze. I am careful not to rush. I don't skip a stair. Return, I retrace my steps home. Going home on the Uptown R at the Cortland stop near the PATH train, the pungent odor of vomit makes me move fast through the dark, wet tunnel. The train leaving, another arriving, screeching brakes of the W coming to a slow stop on the tracks. Flocks of other spring jacket clad girls in salmon colored raincoats, lime green trenches. They make their wear way to and from work. Navy blue business suit men, shoes shiny and sleek. Another move forward, another, before we see the glimpse of daylight. Sunshine glitters through before we break free from the cave. Casual afternoons or gym days in worn out New Balance sneakers. And on rated, rainy days, faded leather boots keep my feet dry from puddles. This is city living. New York transplant. I am not a tourist, get out of my way. New York City is its own world, the rest of the country just revolves around it. Tell me about New Mexico, the hot green chili I love so much, Dallas or Phoenix, 100 degrees at 6 a.m. It's like watching the news. I 
interesting as I listen and pause, but I am here. I cannot imagine there. It takes all of a person to be in New York. Mind, body, spirit, walk, rush, find, take, leave, become, save money, try to find a full-time job with benefits, contemplate tonight. Should I go on that date? Is it a date? Everywhere I look, something is coming at me. What will happen when I walk out the door today? The temp gig is over. Gotta find a new apartment. I can't do eight fifty a month for one room in Soho. I can't be with David. He won't come here. Standing in a make-believe world I thought about for three years, except now it's real. I'm going to Broadway shows, walking up 34th Street. A man sleeps near the wall, a cardboard box over his head. Running through the rain to catch the train before Valerie leaves. The dark, dirty men standing in front of packaged liquor stores, beside piles of black trash bags leaking a trail of smelly, clear liquid, sliding down the sidewalk into the gutter. Stepping over them, I keep going. Juarez. Wrinkled tops and bottoms piled on the floor, silky lavender shirts. I pick the short baby tee with daisies on the front. Across the border, we drive to El Paso in Angie's white Corolla, Toyota Corolla with black tinted windows. We stop at the checkpoint, green light, enter. If we walk over the bridge, we see babies, dirty brown bundles sitting on their mama's lap cry out. Women and children beg for money, clutching white paper cups in the dark. 18, 19, and 20, this is how old we are. The years we have extra blonde highlighted hair, can wear it straight or curly. We arrive on the strip to men trying to sell us chicle, roses wrapped in plastic and Polaroids for a dollar each. At La Playa it is early and the dance floor is ours. Living in oblivion, tainted love, buckets of beer served to our table. Down the street is Coca Cabana and it is college night. My black plastic sketchers are sticky from the beer we spill. Five dollars for one styrofoam cup. It's drink and drown all night long. Tequila slammers, vodka mixed with Sprite. Sabotage, sex on the beach. So what, so what, so what you want? Kissing guys we don't know in buckled boots. I almost slip on the stairs of the smoky club. Dancing with my girls back to back. Strangers, frat guys from New Mexico State. The beginning. 14th and 2nd, we kiss on the corner. 10 dates later, I decide to quit counting. Saturday morning on Britain Street, we sleep in late. I touch his warm cheek, his body beside me. Breakfast, I prefer scrambled eggs and rye toast. Chris, he likes waffles down at the diner. We listen to the Pixies, Pavement, and Yola Tango. I ponder three months of shared days, the way he wraps his arms around me at night. Kisses moist and quiet through winter snow. Spring passions open up like blossoms, and soon summer rainstorms surround us. He strolls down the street with me in Soho. My mom on the right holds my elbow. Chris to my left holds my hand. Together we swim at the Jersey Shore and float in the spectacular sea. Our feet pound the hot sand to hot dogs and burgers. Bucket of crispy fries. Black and white photo booth pictures are simple reminders of Wednesdays by the water. I stood on the boardwalk after he had given me the day. I cannot know the sea completely. I cannot know tomorrow. Mom, what are you doing now? I'm making green chili stew. She's wearing one of her new designs, turquoise, of course. It's a summer dress with a light shawl if she needs it. You seem so free now, Mom. Your apartment is up one flight of stairs, light blue walls, the Georgia O'Keeffe black and white purple flower painting. It's not complicated. I get to see my friends where I am now. No incidents. I don't have to worry about my blood sugar. Who's the new guy? It's hard to tell you about it, Jen. Do you go to the ocean? Yeah, I do every day. I go to a lot of places. It doesn't end, Jennifer Dawn. It doesn't end. It continues and it gets better. But I can't touch you. 
I know you can't see me in the same way. You can't see the same things I see, Chickadee. It's beyond anything I can tell you. I travel, I meet new men and women, old friends, family, babies. Can you break the rules and come down here? Do you feel that, Jen? I'm putting my hand over yours right now. Write this minute as you write in your notebook, getting off the Q101. I climb the stairs with you. I feel the vibration, the semi-truck driving by on Steinway Street. Go inside your apartment and get some work done, my darling. We step into each other's worlds, my love. There is no end. There is no end.